everybody. I'll have to talk quite loudly because uh, you're probably hearing quite a lot of wind in the background. I'm um, sorry about that, can't really help the weather. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about clothing. Clothing for cold conditions and also about this jacket and salopettes uh, from the uh, fishing line in Aldi. Uh, Aldi, for those of you who don't know, German company, quite popular around Europe. So I saw these, I thought they'd be perfect for exactly these conditions, which is basically wet snow. It's springtime, it's getting quite warm. So, uh, yeah, so the, uh, the snow is melting, refreezing, the top surface is ice, not particularly nice to ski on. Uh, so this I've had, this I've had in my bag because I've been skiing, you don't want to get too hot because you sweat then when you sit down. So uh, yeah, so extra layers always go on when you're at rest. And as if it's really cold, you don't want something like this, you want a big down jacket. And don't wear it unless you need it. Okay, so let's have a look at this stuff. We've got a hood, it's detachable, uh, very, very warm material in it. If you put your hood up immediately when it starts raining, that's better because the, uh, the liner gets wet pretty quickly. Nice high collar, keep the wind out. Storm cuffs, can't remember how much these things cost, but Aldi is cheap. Uh, you can probably get similar things in, in Walmart as if you're in the US and anywhere else. I'm sure there's, there's similar things available. But yeah, this is uh, waterproof, breathable, and uh, I've had the jacket at least in some pretty foul, wet conditions, both in the UK and Portugal. Obviously, it's a bit too warm for Portugal. Uh, so both have got yeah, reinforced elbows, backs. The trousers haven't got reinforced elbows, what am I talking about? But the trousers, they're reinforced at the back. You can put them on and off without taking your boots off. So underneath this at the moment, I've just got a pair of uh, tracksuit bottoms, which for these weather conditions is plenty. Okay, so you've got two sets of pockets here, both quite deep. Uh, so zip up pockets here and some very deep pockets down the side. So in one, <laughs> in one I've been collecting, I've been collecting Tinder, and in the other Jagger. <laughs> so the jacket has plenty of pockets, and both the jacket and the trousers are extremely well lined. And they also come in a nice camo pattern, and uh, yeah, I chose pond slime green because that was all they had left in the shop at the time. But yeah, that's, that's fine. Inside pockets. Crane is the brand. Yeah, so Velcro. Little stone flap over the front. Yeah, all in all, very, very warm, actually. Very warm. Which, uh, in these conditions, is, is very good. Cold weather clothing in general. Okay, so what have I got on? You need an outer layer that's windproof, and uh, a base layer, and as many mid layers as possible. So the outer layer, yeah, as if you're moving about, it can be just, uh, just a windproof smock. Uh, good to have like a big mothership jacket to throw on when you're at rest. Uh, base layers, what I like to do, uh, both on my legs and on my body, is I like to have two base layers. The inner one will be a cheap man-made fabric, uh, that way it can be changed and washed more often, and I can, be, with it being cheap, I can have more, more of them. Uh, and on the outside of that, I like to have a merino wool base layer, so that'll cost more money and, uh, and do a better job. So, in between layer, as many layers of wool as you see fit. Wool's the best thing. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for that. It's, uh, it's simple. So, outer layer, mid layer, base layer. 
and the same applies on your head as if you've got a buff and you want a buff <laughs> uh, a neck gaiter uh, a sheet mag works too they can be quite warm as if they're rolled up but this I can pull around the head and then I've got in extra insulation here ah, it's a bit colder today so I'm wearing my big trapper hat so it's a bit on the large side so I can fit another hat underneath if I need to same goes for boots so get one size too big then you can put an extra pair of socks on and it's no problem uh, is if you is if your uh, boots are too tight because you've got too many socks in them you're gonna lose circulation so if you put extra socks on and you've got your normal size boots then uh, your feet can actually get colder so just bear that in mind um, yeah it's quite good as if you're wearing telepets if you don't have an elasticated waist to have a belt that way what have I got in here mittens you don't want to be wearing mittens all of the time but uh, when it's windy as if you're doing something like dog sledding they're essential and uh, when you're actually doing things with your fingers can stick your mittens in there they stay nice and warm against your body you can stick all kinds of other things down here as well if you've got a belt on it won't all fall out this is a concept some of you might be unfamiliar with so rod from Kwood unboxed these things are called gloves they stop your fingers from turning black and dropping off when you're walking around in minus 40 degrees. <laughs> okay, so seriously, uh, a good pair of mittens or gloves is very important. Uh, Hester is a really good brand if you can afford them. If not, you can usually buy something locally. And uh, these things, in England we call them magic gloves. They're very, very cheap. So, I like to buy lots of them, and they work quite nicely as liners for your work gloves, for your mitts. Uh, yeah, make sure everything's not too tight. And uh, the nice thing about them is, is if you need your fingers, you can, uh, you can do things. And uh, because they're cheap, you get them all wet or covered in snow. Can take them off and you can uh, change them you know if you carry two or three pairs then then you're good so you want good socks thinner layers on the inside thicker wool layers on the outside and uh, get some decent boots and what I'd recommend is as if you're from somewhere warm and you're going somewhere cold rather than buying some buying something where you live buy something where you where you're going to, you know, in the uh, the petrol stations, well, gas stations, hardware stores here in Finland, they sell good snowmobile boots, uh, good Wellington boots, gun boots, whatever you want to call them, that are really seriously heavily lined, and uh, yeah, they'll they'll work they'll work great for you, uh, as if you buy something in a warmer country, then it's likely not to work I mean you can you can find things like bathing boots online you know and bathing boots if you can afford them yeah they're absolutely fantastic yeah. today I'm wearing ski boots of course but you know I mean you don't really need something that expensive uh, also a lot of people who come here uh, wear Sorel boots and uh, yeah some of our guides have come with with them have I've never owned a pair. They're uh, they're a bit out of my price range as well. But the cost versus the durability, I mean, they just they just seem to break. You know, at, at least from what I've seen. And uh, yeah, so as if you come in to Finland from another country, I'd recommend that you buy your boots here. Everything else, yeah, I mean, like, like 
wool jumpers. This this thing, this thing cost me one euro. Norwegian wool in the local junk shop down there. Insanity. Uh, every time I'm back in U the UK, we have lots of charity shops everywhere. And every time I pass one, I go in there and I look for something that's made out of wool. You know, it's, uh, you can pick up things second hand for, for next to nothing. You don't need to spend vast amounts of money. Uh, yeah, so if you've got lots of money, yeah, spend it, you know, particularly, particularly base layers. It's good to have a good base layer, a good thick down jacket, and if you're camping, please get the very, very best sleeping bag that you can afford. That's important. Okay, so, have I covered everything I was going to? And I nearly forgot, this time of year it can be very sunny. So, goggles or sunglasses. It's uh, essential this time of year when it gets sunny. As if it's not sunny, if it's a bit cloudy like today, you don't have to bother. Obviously, December, January, forget about it. Uh, unless you're going dog sledding or snowmobiling, then, you, then you'll want some goggles to, to protect your eyes. But, uh, yeah, as if you're out all day in, uh, in the sunshine with the snow, you know, it's going to give you a nasty headache and or snow blindness which which isn't funny so uh, make sure you have something like this with you okay well thank you very much for watching everyone and uh, i'll see you all again soon for another kookily bushcraft video bye for now